Hello and welcome to another episode of Driveway Dudes. Today Will is going to clean the EGR valve on his Citroen C4 1.6 HDI. Yep, absolutely. So recently I was driving along and my engine light came on. So I had diagnostics plugged into the car to find out what the fault was and I'm having an issue with my EGR valve. Now common issues for an EGR valve is that it's getting blocked and it's getting kicked up with carbon and soot. Now my car is nearly 200,000 kilometers on it, so it's, uh, it's the most likely culprit. So what I did was I picked up a can of diesel EGR valve cleaner. Uh, this particular one is the JLM one, and it does diesel air intake and EGR valve cleaning. So in the video, we're gonna show you how to clean it without removing it. All right, and um, let's get to it. First thing you do is you remove the top cover on the engine and it just pops up and you pull it up and out of the way. That allows you access to the clips of the pipe here. Now what you do then is you'll need a blade screwdriver and undo the screw or jubilee clip next to the turbo here. undo it nice and loosely there's no need to take it off Com undo it completely and again up here same just undo it a little bit more awkward now because you're up against the bulkhead or scuttle panel so undo it as much as you need but don't take it off completely. Now both of these are ready to come off and as you can see here it's held on with a little clip and there's another one underneath so what you need to do is you need to prise the clips and be very careful because they are brittle and pull gently Pull gently. And it should just pop out. And there we go. Okay, so as you can see, Paul removed the pipe going into the turbo. This is the closest point that we have to the intake manifold on the engine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray it in, let the revs, you know, die back down again because as soon as you start spraying, it's gonna change the air fuel ratio of the mixture of diesel going into the engine. So it's gonna act a bit unusual. And you spray in small bursts until half the can is gone. And yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's get going. Okay, so hopefully you can hear me. The car is just idling now and uh, we're gonna start spraying. Okay, so I'm gonna give Paul the wave and he's gonna hold it at 2000 RPM. Okay, let's get going. It isn't half noisy, is it? Okay, and through the magic of editing, that's about half of it. So I'm going to wait for all to stop doing it and switch off the engine. Replacing the pipe is the reversal of removal. Just remember to make sure you have the Jubilee clips on and they sit between the little gap here and the same on this one here. So. Again, be careful when you're putting it in to make sure that this lines up correctly. So you ease it on and ease everything into place and everything should just pop on nicely. And there we have it. So if it feels nice and snug, it probably is. Uh, we'll just go tighten everything up now. Now, once you have it tightened into place, everything should be good. Uh, you can also 
fit the engine cover back into place. That's held on with little poppers, so there shouldn't be any problem getting that back in. Press down and press down. Everything looks nice and secure. Well, as easy as that. The whole job took less than 10 to 15 minutes. Now we forgot to mention at the start, because the product is corrosive, you need to wear rubber, latex, nitrile gloves. Yeah, exactly. So, just like Paul said, it's as easy as that. Now, on my particular car, the EGR valve is actually at the back of the engine, so it's, it's really kind of inaccessible to, uh, to remove it kind of off of the car. So a can of EGR valve cleaner like this is absolutely perfect, you know, for this particular kind of scenario that we find ourselves in. Now, some of you may be more adventurous and want to actually remove their EGR valve completely from their car, uh, maybe get some EGR valve cleaner or, you know, carburetor cleaner and spray it down, you know, just in a bucket or something and try to, to clean the soot out of it, clean the carbon out of it that way. But for us and you know a lot of people with that type of engine or where an EGR valve is inaccessible, this is a, it's a great alternative. Now from looking at some forums online uh, for various different makes and models of cars, it's actually recommended that you uh, you spray this sort of stuff, this EGR valve cleaner, into your engine roughly every 20,000 miles or for us in a metric country that's about 32,000 to 33,000 kilometers. Uh, so you know it's entirely up to you if you want to do that. For my car you know, it's considered kind of a high mileage car in our country, in Ireland. Uh, so, you know, I probably want to go and do it every 20,000 miles or 30,000 kilometers from now on, since the engine light is coming on. Uh, but for some of you out there, you know, every service if you want to do it, or, you know, whenever, it's up to you. It's completely at your discretion. Uh, but yeah, it's as easy as that. The cans are relatively inexpensive. You can find them in your local auto parts store. Well, thanks for watching, and feel free to drop a comment. And don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and follow us on social media. So we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Blogger. So thanks so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you again soon. See you again.